The United Auto Workers strike is now entering its fifth day and no signs of a breakthrough in negotiations are in sight. But there may be a light at the end of the tunnel, with Ford of Canada and Unifor reaching a new tentative labour contract to cover unionised employees. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Price of Romanian to break this down for us. Hey, Price. Hey, Rachel, yes, yeah, some good news here. Potentially, you know, Ford can, like you mentioned, struck a labor contract with Unifor, which is the union that represents Canadian Ford workers. Uh, the union and Canada, ham uh, Ford Canada, ham hammered out the deal, excuse me, uh, 24 hours after the original strike uh, deadline had passed there in Canada. Not That's this Canada strike, not our strike. Um, and the two sides apparently working for the last, last six weeks. Uh, we don't know much about the deal yet, but uh, the union members need to ratify the deal, so they don't want to kind of give away some of the, the sort of ins and outs. But uh, we're hearing that Automotive News is reporting that the uh, the union got uh, wages, wage hikes of over 20%. So that is a kind of a good starting point there for striking workers here in the States. Kind of a, a precedent is set, and maybe that's where they can start going from, from a wages point of view, and then hopefully into the benefits and other things like that. And it's interesting because that strike in, in Canada would have been a total walkout versus the strategic one in the U.S. But perhaps there is a possibility that the strikes in the U.S. could expand now and the effects could be widespread, right? Yeah, you know, the union, the OEW here in the States, uh, Sean Fain talking about how if substantial progress has not been made uh, by Friday at noon here, uh, more workers will be called on to strike. Um, you know, we haven't seen... They're not saying where they'll actually strike, what new plants will actually be hit, but you know they could expand to other factories. It could actually expand the strikes at the current factories that they're at right now. Potentially, so for instance, at Ford, the Michigan Assembly Plant in 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 Detroit, only part of the plant is on strike, so we might see more of that there. So for their part, the automakers say that they are negotiating and they haven't walked away from the table. But as you mentioned, the ripple effects have have already occurred. We're seeing German auto giant uh, uh, ZF uh, laying off workers in Michigan because of the of the, of the spillover effects. Uh, you a steel might idle a, a steel furnace in Illinois uh, for, for risk mitigation purposes. So that's happening there. And meanwhile, uh, Barclays, uh, the investment bank, saying that if the strike expands, the union may target the big truck plants, which are huge money makers for the big three. So that could seem be more pain for them uh, potentially by Friday, if, like I said, if substantial progress has not been made.